Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. An SNP minister, Marie Todd, said she couldn't contain her excitement at the prospect of the Commonwealth Games coming back to Glasgow. She said she was like an excited puppy. If only perhaps she got excited about things such as, let's say, getting rid of all the rats out of Glasgow, repairing the potholes in Glasgow, sorting the mess that is Socky Hall Street out in Glasgow, then people may admire her girlish enthusiasm a little bit more. But when she's talking about ignoring all the problems Glasgow's got, but being prepared to spend millions upon millions of pounds of taxpayers' money so that a few people, mostly millionaires, can turn up, quaff champagne and watch as some fast people run fast, uh, it's hardly excellent uh, value for money, should we say, for the poor people of Glasgow who have to continue living in the shit that has been created by the SNP regime. We'll take a look at this to see why Mary Todd really needs to prioritise and to check herself to make sure she isn't going to actually, you know, make herself look stupid. Oh wait, no, sorry, far too late for that. Here goes. So, SNP minister, there she is, Mary Todd, compares herself to excited puppy amid Glasgow Commonwealth Games 2026 speculation, despite the state of the city. Well, the city basically is a rat infested slum after years of abuse by the SNP regime in the city and by a lack of any kind of funding for any of the councils by the SNP government. And this is the problem you got. It's going to cost millions and millions and millions to put anything right in Glasgow they say and complain, oh, we haven't got the money. But strangely, you can find the money for the Commonwealth Games. I'm pretty sure the people of Glasgow don't give two hoots about the Commonwealth Games. They're more concerned with having a city that is functional and fit for human habitation. Because at the moment, it really isn't. Uh, the Scottish Government Sports Minister Mary Todd couldn't contain her excitement about the Commonwealth Games potentially returning to Glasgow despite the poor state of the city. Um, but, uh, but Mary Todd warned that the Scottish Government could not dedicate any public cash to this due to the financial situation it finds itself in. In other words, it's not the central government's uh, policy now to bring the Commonwealth Games to Glasgow. It would have to be up to Glasgow City Council. And you can guarantee that old two seats would rather spend money bringing the games in so she could look important in front of the world's press, meeting interesting people and eating them, rather than fixing the shitty city that the SNP have created. Uh, it has been suggested that a slimmed down version of the sporting event could return to the city in two years time after a number of other potential hosts ruled themselves out, mainly because it was an awful lot of money and it's only the Commonwealth Games. It's not as though it's anything important. It's not, you know, um, the Olympics or the World Championships or anything like that. It's just a select group of people who belong to countries that used to be British, used to be red on the map. You know, countries what we used to own, put it that way. Uh, anyway, however, Glasgow is currently in a state of disrepair with Socky Hall Street restricted due to the road being dug up. And if you ever see the pictures of it, uh, go and look if you haven't seen them. If you have seen them, you'll know exactly what I mean. It looks like a bomb site, and it's strewn with rubbish and dirt, mud. It's horrible. It looks honestly, it it, it looks like the Germans uh, did their worst in 1943 or something, and uh, no one's ever bothered fixing it. Uh, there's also dozens of derelict shops, graffiti covers abandoned buildings, rats invest some com some communities, and bins are overflowing. But despite this, the Commonwealth Games Scotland suggested that the, the city could host a scaled-back event with 10 to 13 sports if no other city could be found. I suspect they probably won't. Victoria in Australia pulled out of hosting the Games due to financial issues, with the likes of Singapore and Malaysia also rolling, holding them, uh, rolling out holding them. Athletes flocked to Glasgow in 2014 to take part in swimming, cycling and running with infrastructure built for this. That infrastructure is now, of course, being led to fall into disrepair and would require a massive investment to try and build it back up again. Uh, however, there are 
tight financial restraints affecting the Scottish Government and local councils, meaning that no public money is available to put on the sporting spectacular, uh, spectacle again in 2026. And Miss Todd, who was the sports minister, she looks like someone who's done a lot of sports in her life, doesn't she? Uh, told BBC Scotland News that negotiations were ongoing about this topic. Oh, look, there's a picture of a Cockney um, who pretends to be Scottish. Uh, the Commonwealth Games, I know that's probably going to wind a lot of you up, and I'm only saying it because I know it's going to wind a lot of you up. He is a Londoner, though, let's be honest. Uh, the Commonwealth Games are really important to Scotland and a vital part of the fabric that enables our athletes to be on the pathway to the Olympics. It's a real chance to... Uh, it's a real chance to athletes for athletes to compete for Team Scotland. It's one of the very few events where Scotland competes as Scotland. Um, obviously football, rugby and things like that, team sports on that stage, but um, normally in things like athletics it would be Team GB, which rather upsets the Northern Irish of course because they're not part of Great Britain are they? Uh, she said obviously we'd have to work really closely with the Commonwealth Games organisation to make sure there was no requirement to invest public money in Scotland. But I'm excited puppy. Oh, piss off. You're not an excited puppy. You're a mad cow. That's what you are. There you go. Here's a picture. This is Stocky Hall Street. Welcome to Scotland. Welcome to Glasgow. We're hosting the uh, Commonwealth Games. Come look at our bomb site of a main thoroughfare in the city. Trees locked down, roads dug up. It is an absolute dump. It really is. It just looks like any other high street. There's nothing special about it, is there? That's what they've done to this place. It's just turned it into an absolute dump. But that's the SMP for you. I shall come up. So yes, they're all excited about hosting a games that nobody cares about in a city that's falling apart and they're promising that no public money will go through. You can guarantee it will if they really wanted it. And what's it for? To put Scotland on the map. To put Glasgow on the map. People know where it is. Of course people know where it is. They look around, they Google it, go, oh look, there's Scotland. You know, they're, they're aware. You don't need to put Scotland on the map. And if this is the state of Glasgow, the last thing you want is for the world to see that. Be embarrassed by it. It's like... You know, you've brought some friends home from the pub and you walk in, the first thing you have to say is, oh, don't worry about the mess, it's the maid's day off. Ha ha, as you sit down and there's dirty washing one side, you know, plates licked clean by the dog sitting on the floor. Yesterday's cup of tea with a ring round it. That sort of thing, you know. Think Albert Steptoe. That's exactly what they've done. The SMP have turned Scotland into Steptoe and Son's yard. Sad, isn't it? Anyway... I shall finish there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. And let's hope to God they don't get the Commonwealth Games. You don't want that kind of publicity on the world stage. Thanks for listening. Bye.